should have specified. I apologize. And cat back up on your hands and knees and arch your back up to the sky like a bad kitty cat. So you want to be kind of up on your knees, Miley. Meow. It's actually a friend. No noises, please. It's actually a friend, kitty cat. Oh. I'm going to get mad. My cat at home would get mad if I like that. <laughs> Under order, back to moving up. <laughs> or if I scratch his bottom, he's like, I just scratch my cat's bottom, he likes me like this. All right, now go ahead and go into skydiver stretch. So laying down on our belly and lift everything off the ground except your belly button. Oh no! Ow! It hurts because of the belly. You can try again. You can try around. Yeah, I just can't. I don't control. You never really get used to that. It doesn't get. And drop. All right, sit up. Not stand up. Sit up. Oh, come oh, on, man. Now we're going to do our torso twist. So put your right leg over top of your left. <laughs> left arm comes across, twisting backwards. Looking like Crystal's got it. His leech does it. Yeah, so, yep, that one person got it. You want to use your leg to push. I'm not using my leg to push. So put that leg up a little higher. And use that arm. Come against your leg. Use the arm. Push. Yeah. Welcome to Taekwondo class. Remind us weird things that you didn't think it could do. I'm looking at her right now. Yeah. Um, I'm not All right, switch. Like Get Jackson. <laughs> what are we doing? What is the twist called? Sports so twist. Surely, twist the other way. Yeah, that way. Try the other crunch. This way? Yeah. Is that my stance? Yes. I want to use my leg. Alright, feet wide apart in the V. This hurts. This hurts. Well, it's not supposed to feel like sometimes rainbow is stretching. Stretching is supposed to hurt a little bit. That's how you know you're doing it right. At least that's what my dad used to say. So if it don't hurt, you ain't doing it right. Hands behind your head, touch your ears to your knees on both sides. I can't move at all. That's terrible. You don't have to go all the way down. Okay. Don't hurt yourself. Mom, I just kind of feel a bust in my back. Butterfly. Alright, now normally we say nose to toes, but I want you to think chest to toes. Last chest one. to toes. So straighten the back and lean forward yeah. that way. Bottom. You'll actually feel it a lot more that way. Bottom. Or if you're like Dalton, oh. <laughs> you squish them like pancakes. <laughs> Make sure to breathe. Muscles love oxygen. <gasps> so do I. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> I'm like smelling my own breath. It's weird. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, we are now required. We are required to wear them. What the instructors or everybody? Staff. Anyone that works here. No, I cannot survive. Anyone that works here has to wear them. So. I go. No. Did it come back stronger? CDC. I can't bend forward. CDC. All right. Stand up. Stand up. All right, guys, so from here, so what we're going to do is we're going to stay on our spots as, much, as best as possible. It'll be kind of difficult when we're going through the corner, just kind of shuffle yourself around and try to stay in your area. But we're going to go through every section of your testing and kind of go through it that way. Okay? So first, even though I know not everybody in here has the self-defense technique, we're going to do it anyway. 
I know, I know, I know. So I know you know what it is, and that's fantastic. So from here, what we're gonna do? Imagine big, mean, scary, ugly, smelly bad guys behind you. Reaching up behind you, grabbing your neck with both hands, and he's just choking the life out of you. Okay. <laughs> to get away from that bad guy. Everyone, do this with me. Hey, teacher, I know the answer. <laughs> Turn into the bad guy. Wait. Wrap the arm around. Is it the front foot or the back foot? That moves. But put on the same side. So this. Yep. Other hand. Punch him two times in the ribs. Pop him. Pop him in the nose. Bam. Bam. Done. All right. Again. Now try the other side. I'm so confused. Hey, teacher, I know the answer. Turn. Wrap. Two punches low, and a palm heel up high. Go through that a few times. On your own, make sure I see both sides, and then we'll move on. Go for it. Bam! So let me come back here. Okay, so what's happening? I Demonstrate all the that right now. So, do I know? Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Yeah. Right here. When you're punching and doing your palm heel, make sure you're doing it towards your back arm because that's where the bad guy is. He's not in front of you on this side, he's back behind you, okay? Oh. One, two, bam. Punch back towards your arm and use the same arm that you punch to do the palm heel. Okay. Good. Good. Good job. Very nice, Mackenzie. Good job. Oh, Kenzie, this is the big test for you. What happened to the screen? What is this madness? I don't know. What? Can you not see me? Well, I can see you fine. It's just it shifted to like a video. I didn't tell it to do that. Let me fix it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was odd. Oh. There. Okay. All right, next thing. So from here, um, Miss Leach, if you would, kind of keep an eye back there and kind of help her out as best as possible. Whatever she's do you want now? Do you want to move back to the dot behind her? That works too. Yeah, that works fine. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a couple sparring drills. So how this works, I want you to think of a combination. And for you, ma'am, I'm going to show you what you're going to do. Okay. So ignore what I'm about to say right now. <laughs> Everyone else, I want you to think of a combination that has five moves, but one of the moves must be a jumping kick, and one of the moves must be a back fist. Okay. Okay. So therefore, you only have three moves to think of. But I want you to think of a combination that has a jumping kick and a back fist. The other three moves you can think of yourself. Okay. Don't forget no jump front, remember? Oh, that was in the last class. Oh, okay. That was in the last class. Kids are harder to, they, they only think of one thing. So I was trying to eliminate that one thing that they think of. They get them to open up their brain to the possibilities. Okay. <laughs> because then they, when you have to realize that they don't know what to do. 
used to. Here, maybe after we get through this, and I might shift you back there to kind of have someone to look at. But we'll see. We'll think about that, okay? All right, so from here, think of your combination. I'm going to show you what you're doing now. Try it with a spin crescent. That would be cool. All right, so from here, let's take a look. Let me take a look. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to set a timer for 45 seconds. Your goal is to do that combination you just thought of as many times as you can in 45 seconds. Okay, okay. Okay, so I hope you thought of something good that won't destroy you. <laughs> okay, in lack of a better term. Good Okay, ready! Go on. Let's make it. Let's make it. So there must be a jumping kick, there must be a back fist. Everything else is not. <laughs> Let's stay in the area as best as possible, guys. <laughs> Who's behind you? <laughs> You're sparring one person, man. <laughs> so he's right here, or she is right here. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Good job, Kenzie. Only thing I'd say is look where your partner's going to be at all at right, all so times. Yeah. Yes, Chase? Okay, what was it? So I did a and I did I did I did I did Okay. Okay. All right, so from here, next combination. You must have a spinning kick, but it cannot be a spinning side kick. With no spin side kick, we have other spins. And I believe you should know other spins by now. But I know I have taught everyone in here different kinds of spins at some point. Hold on one second, buddy. So, you must do a spinning kick, but it cannot be a spinning side kick. And you must have a ridge hand. What's that? A ridge hand is a backwards knife hand. So it hits with the thumb side of the hand instead of the pinky side. So think about reaching out and grabbing something. Okay, five. So therefore, you only have to think three. 
Because I just hear you two. Miss Yarkin. Technically, we have to speak before. We have to make a request. Miss Yarkin. Miss Yarkin. All right. All right. I'll give you guys a few seconds to think of it. Miss Yarkin. Uh, no spin sides. You have so many others. You can spin hook, you can spin crescent, you can spin heel, you can how. <laughs> Believe it or not, a spinning axe kick is a thing. A spinning twist kick is a thing. It's funny looking, but it's yeah, it's a thing. Is it really? Yeah, it's a thing. It's, it's a thing, but it's, it's funky. <laughs> that looks cool. That's look. That's cool looking. Uh, yeah, you think it's cool? <laughs> I think it is. Is there a is there a spin uh, round kick? Uh, yeah, but you have to jump, so it makes it a three sixty. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you have to kind of jump around to do that one. So, but yeah. Okay, hope you thought of something. Hey! Remember that I'll say sitting kick and then I'll put your hand up. Yeah, let's just do that. 
All right. <laughs> Without putting your foot down, right? Yes. Sir. Oh, yes, I forgot. Your tape combo thing cannot be front tape, round tape. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. It cannot be front tape, round tape, but it can be like front tape side kick or front tape hook kick or hooky yeah. round kick or twisty yeah. round kick. <laughs> I think my brother has a question. Crescent kick side kick. Kids would give me ideas. Kids would give me ideas. Would a low to high count? Kids would give me ideas. If it was two completely different kicks. No. Okay. That's be two completely different kicks. Okay. All right. Think of something. We only have a few seconds. Ah, uh, tell Miss Miley, how are we doing back here? I didn't care about Kenzie, upset punch. Cool. Good job. Very nice, Kenzie. Good job. Nice job, everyone. All right, so from here, switching gears, not that you're all tired and sweaty and gross. Form time. Form time. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. Try, again, try to stay in your area as best as possible. And we're going to go through the different forms. Well, actually, it's just one form to different parts. When we get to your ending position, wherever that is, stop, start over. Okay? By the time everybody finishes, I will have some time to kind of go around and help everybody out and you know, do that kind of thing. Okay? Questions on that? Yeah, I'm Do you have a question? It's about a combination. No, sir, we're not on combination. Now we're doing four. It's about a four, Mom. Okay. Before I'm taught, I told you again, yeah, how many times, um, how many points did I have to do it over and over again? Yep, until I get tired. <laughs> um, until you go on a wide road. Which video. probably won't be hard because I've been here since 10. Yeah. So. <laughs> also had nothing to eat but like two pieces of pound cake, so yeah. But anyway, let's give it a try. Jimmy Stance? Sure. What's that? <clears throat> I'm going to Okay. One. Palm Hill strikes. That's good steady stance here. Okay. Two, three. One, two. Four. Oh, you know this. This is good. This is good. This is good. 
Five. Now I see straight legs. I should not. Shrink. Rule of thumb when doing <laughs> any stance, your body must shrink about six inches. <laughs> Okay. Six. Four. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Again, both knees should be bent. This is a fixed stance. It's not broken. It's fixed. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's going to laugh at that. Seven. Right here, your heels should be touching, not your toes. <laughs> And eight, step all the way across. All right, this is the end of the beginning section. If you are a white belt, or a yellow, or an orange of any kind, you are now to go. Okay. Everyone else, let's continue. Again, try to stay in your area as best as possible. <laughs> so we just go over our, our sections. Yes. Nine. Ten. Seven, five, ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Rib level, rib level, rib level. All the strikes in this form hit them in the ribs or the solar plexus. Depends on how far you're it. True, but you you base your strikes in a form off of your own height. That's how I did. Because it would make sense to block like this. Okay. What number is that? Thirteen. Thank you. Fourteen. Fifteen. Are you? All right. Adjust. Back up. Adjust. 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 Back to your spot. There you go. Sixteen. Seventeen. Wow. Can you see your front toes? No. No it should be the right answer. But you can be feet go more. If you make your feet go a little bit wider, it's hard to be able to bend the knees. Yes. Thank you. So you go a little wider. Eighteen. Pop quiz, which foot moves right here? I do not know. Left. Right or left? Left. Right. right. From the spear hand, your right foot moves. It is weird, but your right foot moves. Yeah, I'll show you like right here. Up spear hand. Right foot. So it just steps across you. Just like. Okay. Nineteen, which is both round kicks and the double nine hand strike, by the way. Round kick. Round kick. Uh, this is the end of the intermediate section. Oh so greens and blues of all kinds green, and it's regular purple. All done. Green, blue, purple. Let's continue. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. 23, 24. Whoa, every single one of you guys got that wrong. Which foot moves into your front stance? Um, you the front one. You, you moved your back foot. You got it. <laughs> it's like, oops. It's the front foot. Front foot. Some people didn't move at all. They just went from here to this. Make the stance. Uh, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's Can I just like go up against the wall because I'm in a... Again, adjust. Oh. Yeah. Adjust. Oh, back to your spots, guys. Cheyenne, check your back stance. Which way should... Yeah, this foot right here, ma'am, should be pointed at... Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, chamber, turn to the left, 25, 20, or 26, 27. Yep, 26, 27. One, two. One, two. Your feet should be together. Don't forget right. the right arm up, left arm down. No, it's actually left arm up, ma'am. Sorry, left arm up, 
Right arm down, spin feet together, and then one, two. Yes, but spin. You have to turn. Pick your right foot up and spin all the way around facing the other wall. And feet go together. So going from your elbow. All right, everyone, start over. Lift up your left foot and turn to the left. Okay, Kenzie, go back to the left arm up, right arm down, facing. Yes. Now pick up your back foot and step in front. Oh no, I'm sorry, pick up your front foot. 84. Yes, that foot. Spin, face the other wall that's behind you. And put your feet together. Spin towards me. Sorry. So go. Nope, you haven't, you haven't done that move yet. So you just did, uh, let's see, the elbow. Okay, hold on one sec. Okay, uh, you just did the elbow. You're gonna do the left arm up, right arm down, and then you're gonna turn, and here's where you're gonna do the, and then this, and this. Yeah, that's the end. Don't forget your double. It's an outer forearm block and a low block at the same time. Go back to your back, your elbow towards the back. Go towards that. And you're in a back stance facing towards the camera. Good. Now, left arm up, right arm down. Pick up your front foot and you have to spin towards the front, spin towards the camera and face that wall that's behind you. Yep, there you go. Feet together, nope. Stop, face the wall that's to your right. There you go. Still have your left arm up, right arm down. Now you're gonna do the switch. One, two. There you go. Now, chamber to your right and step to your left. There you go, yes. Perfect. Do that one more time from the elbow. I want to make sure you got it. Good. Yes. Just two times. One, two. Good. Perfect. Okay, good job. Do me a favor. I can't see your feet. Can you back up or tilt the camera down? Yes. I want to make sure your feet are going to be in the right positions. There you go. Cool. There you go. She's like, Those black belts in here who are testing this cycle, if you like, I have no problem. You can practice your black belt forms. Please stay in your area. So when you set the dogging box, it's 45, 45. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like you're going to put your eyes on the camera. Yeah, it's good now. Yeah, it's good. Oh, no. Awesome, Kenzie. Good job. Great stances, too. Very good stances, especially in the beginning. Good job. Yeah, so, um, you did it this from here. Okay. 
Kinsey, when you do that after your punch and you go into the front stance low block, move your front foot, not the back foot. So when you're in that punch, yep. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's the next one. You want to know that part? <laughs> also, Kenzie, okay, now I'm seeing you. I didn't see you last time. When you do that spear hand, you have to step with your right foot into a front stance. So you're in the double knife hand with your left foot back stance. And then when you step into do the spear hand, you step into it with your right. Okay. Done. Cool. <laughs> yes. Okay, Kenzie, do me a favor. Start back from um, okay. your your punch. Your second punch after you've done your um, sidekick. Sidekick, knife, hand, punch, punch. There. Okay. Now move and do your. There you go. Double. Now be sure and step with that right foot over the front and your hand. Nope, you don't have to have the right foot in front. You're going to, uh, let's see. So you're here, punch. You're going to turn, double knife hand. And then when you go to step, it's just like when you do that punch in the beginning. You step and cro across you in front to a front stance with your right foot. Double knife hand, yes. Yes, there you go. Now step with that right foot. There you go. Yes. Right foot should be in front for the spear hand. <laughs> okay, so you do your turn and your double knife hand. There you go. Now, just, it's okay. Just freeze in your double knife hand. <laughs> there you go. Now with your right foot, step in front and then spear with your right hand. There you go. Perfect. Just like that. Yes. Yes. All right. Sorry to confuse you. Do it one more time. I want to make sure you get that spear hand and everything right. You got the ending right now.
Yes, good job, Kenzie. You got it right. There you go. Okay, can I cut it off? No. Can you last two minutes? Yes. Kenzie, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, I hope you guys have some fun. I hope you guys learned. Or, well, actually, we didn't really learn anything. But <laughs> we reviewed, and we feel a little bit more confident on our skills for testing. Okay? Ms. Kenzie, I hope you did really awesome, because I know you did, because you're awesome. <laughs> this holiday is also awesome. So again, testing is this Saturday. It's our birthday. So if you want to give me a good present, pass. Pass your testing. That's what I want from a birthday. Pass. Okay. Or you can bring one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. Have a wonderful night. I have to dismiss you in a certain order, so hang tight. That's it. Sir! 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 Sir!